Hello everyone, welcome to yet another tutorial. Today we are going to look at how to create a crystal rendering like this. So we will look at uh, how to model the crystal, create a shader and then we are going to go into compositing and add some glow and streaks to the image. All right. So let's see how this is done in Blender. So I have created this composition and I'm going to show you how this is done. So we'll go to add mesh cube. So I started from a cube, go to edit mode, go to x-ray mode. Uh, first thing is I will delete the polygon which is below because that will be on the ground. So I'll select the top poly face and move it up. All right. We'll go to edge mode and then we'll add an edge loop, move it slightly up we'll add another edge loop at the bottom we'll select the top we'll select the top vertices go to mesh merge at center okay so this is going to be our crystal we can select this and scale it in a slightly and then we can scale this out all right so this is the basic look of the Crystal, I can slightly rotate this on the right, rotate this on the left. Okay. And then we can make it uneven. All right. And then I can even rotate. And then I can move this. All right. So that is our crystal. Okay. The next thing we do is I go to modify panel and add. Uh, this is modify panel, by the way. Wrench. We'll add a bevel. Okay. So we want a small amount. So maybe half of what we have. And then I will add one segment. And then we'll go to object. Shade smooth. Okay, so this may look like a little fat, so you can scale it down. Okay, and then now it is a matter of uh, duplicating it. Shift D to duplicate, move it around. All right, and then you can scale it small. Place it around, rotate it around. Okay, so that is my second one. Okay, then you can also go to edit mode, select these and move it down. So it's slightly different than the first one. Okay, so shift B this, move it around, rotate it around. Okay, you can scale it in one axis. If you want, you can go to edit mode and make changes. Maybe it bends this way. Okay, so that is done. You can rotate it around if you want. So you just copy and put things around to get this okay the next step is to create a plane scale the plane big okay then go to edit mode go to edge select this edge and we're going to hit E to extrude and Z to uh, constrain it to Z axis and click then you select this one and then you go to edge, bevel edge. I click somewhere so you can create a bevel, create a nice big bevel and then you add some lines. Okay. And then we are going to subdivide this. So before we subdivide, we will add some loops at the end so it keeps its shape.
go to object mode modifier subdivision surface and make it two go to object and make it smooth all right so you get this flat background you can make it big okay really scale it out so that there's enough room for us to create our composition so now we will go to view viewpoint camera and then we will go to camera and lock the camera to view that way we can set up our camera so it is slightly to the right slightly looking from top zoom out so we have some space at the bottom to see the reflections and then we can move the plane around make it big enough so that it covers the entire space all right so that is the camera we did the camera setup if you go to rendering render this is what you get um, now we'll do some settings in the rendering we're going to from EV to cycles go to output properties and we are going to make it small 720 by 405 all right and then uh, rendering this will make 64 so it's faster denoising is not on right now all right so if you click here this is what you get save your scene okay Crystal tutorial. All right. Now time to add material. So we'll select this object. Go to material, new, name it floor. All right. So the floor material will have lesser roughness. base color make it black okay so that's what you get go to environment black background is crystal black color now for the crystal select the crystal go to materials we'll remove the existing material add a new material name it crystal go to shading and we will delete this one okay so now what we will do is um, we'll add all these objects should have the same crystal We can do it from here also. Crystal, crystal, all right. So everything has crystal material. We'll go to add. shader plus then we'll go to add shader emission okay then we'll go to add shader mix all right so we'll mix this one here we'll mix this one here and connect it to the surface okay view viewpoint camera then go here and now you can see how it looks so that was a purple one so you add a purple and then this one will be lighter in color all right so you get though that and the emission was around five okay so we need 
another add input layer weight okay and then color the layer weight facing and then you get your crystal look okay so if you go to rendering render image you get the crystal look now we go to compositing okay and then use node so you have these two composite nodes and render layers and then you can go to add output viewer all right and drag this onto viewer so you can see the image in the background all right now we need to add filter glare okay and then you connect it here and you can see how the image has updated so we will add the streaks to say six you can increase the iterations to improve the quality you can work with the fade okay to decide how much it is going to fade increase the threshold so this looks good Okay, so I'll go to Shift D to Glare and I'll change from Streaks to Fog Low. Okay, and then you can play with the Fog Low. Okay, so it can be low, high. If you reduce the th threshold the fog glow increases if you increase it it reduces okay so that's about it and our crystal image is ready so you can go to your render setup make it 1280 by 720 this 2000 passes denoising on rendering render image okay this will take a long time so let us make this 1000 and see how it looks at uh, lower passes. So it is going to <coughs> it is going to render the image first and add the streaks and the glow later on. Okay. And that is it. You can try different colors and see what kind of look you get. This was our final image. And here, this is what we are getting.